Hi guys, Judo here again, uh, joined by the awesome Camel. Hello. Today we're going to be talking about the Switch game, Pokemon Let's Go. We've got Let's Go Eevee here, but there's also a Let's Go Pikachu. If anyone prefers Pikachu to Eevee. If anyone prefers Pikachu to Eevee. Yeah, we find that idea kind of laughable since Eevee is, is very unique in the Pokemon franchise, whereas Pikachu is a big star in the anime. Um, I'd say that Eevee's much more of a star in the actual video games. Is that fair? Definitely. So I think that's why they've gone for the Pikachu for the anime fans, Eevee for the video game fans. So what did you think of it anyway? Uh, it was it was good. It was a nice little nostalgic trip through Kanto again. Um, Kanto's a generation one Pokemon setting. Yeah. Basically a repeat of the original red and blue and green games, um, but with, with some of the more modern Pokemon Go uh, mechanics, like the way you catch Pokemon and encounter them in the wild. Um, <clears throat> so in, like, instead of fighting wild Pokemon with your own Pokemon, you can just toss a bunch of balls at them. And it's all based on different motion controls depending on whether the switch is docked or in your hands or if you have a special Pokeball Pro controller. That's way too dear, I think. Like, I wanted to get it, but it's extortionate. They're wanting, like, what, 30 quid for it? For, like, a wee ball that you just... Yeah, it seems a bit ridiculously for a priced. controller you can't even use for any other game. It's a shame, because it's a really nice bit of, um, like, kit to come with it, but for that price, when you used to get the Pokewalker included, yeah, seems a bit dear. Maybe a tenner, but not 30 quid. Apart from that, the is is a pretty faithful recreation of the Gen One, like world, um, but in like obviously the very nice Switch graphics. Check the graph. What check the graphics on it? I mean, it's, it's the best Pokemon's ever looked. They've they finally got away from <coughs> repeating using the same Pokemon models for the three D games from like the first Pokemon Stadium game. It's good to see everything redrawn and fully realised in 3D. I think the thing with Let's Go is it is a spin-off. So for people waiting on Generation 8 Pokemon, it's probably not going to satisfy. But as a spin-off game, it's really solid. It's pretty much because of the popularity of the mobile game Pokemon Let's Go. They've decided that because basically people's biggest complaint about Let's Go is that you have to play it on the go. So they've made a Let's go spin off on the Switch that's more like let's stay in the house and play it. Or yes. I suppose with the Switch you can play anywhere, but it's not got the like the GPS functions of Let's Go. No. But it does have a lot of the gameplay features. Yeah. Uh, particularly the way you catch Pokemon. The, the battles in it are much more traditional Pokemon battles, not like fighting people in, in Pokemon Go on mobile. <coughs> Yeah, everything can learn up to four moves as usual. They can <coughs> gain gain EVs from fighting enemies and eating candy. And you know, level up traditionally and you can fight gym leaders and all that sort of thing. Only thing I would say is after after beating the Elite Four, there's there's not so much to do. There's like a, a super trainer, I think they're called, for each Pokemon. They just have this ridiculously overpowered version of each Pokemon. And you have to fight them with that Pokemon. I haven't managed to beat any of them. Even with like the one Pokemon that I mainly used throughout the entire game. So it seems like training up one of every single Pokemon to be able to, to beat these trainers is gonna take a long time. It sounds like a long and grindy end game yeah. even by Pokemon standards. And Pokemon is known for its kinda being a bit long and grindy in the end game. If you're used to the the way you increase your stats from kind of the main series Pokemon games, it's a lot more like traditional Gen 1 where you can just have a million extra stats in each one of your stats instead of having to, to pick and choose 
a certain amount of specific stats. Ah, uh, right, right. But I guess it's not got the two-player strategy element, so no. there's no need for them to make you pick and choose if you're not... Like, the reason you pick and choose in the main series is so that when you play against other people, your choices matter. Yeah. You can absolutely fight your friends in the game, but... But not with a strategy element. No, not with a strategy element. It seems, it seems to be just whoever's, whoever's fed their Pokémon the most candy. I think one of the coolest things about Let's Go is riding the Pokémon. <laughs> The animations for like riding on the onyx and stuff like that just look really yeah. sweet. Any, any Getting to see you, the size of them. Any Pokemon that you think you could ride, you'll probably automatically ride it and let's go. Yeah, that's so cool. That's really sweet. Everyone was, was really, really hyped for the return of walking about with your Pokemon like in Heart Gold and so it's over. Yeah, it, it does make you more endeared to them because. Like, you see them there in the game rather than just, like, in the fight scenes. And in the Pokedex, it kind of brings them like, more yeah. into it and it adds to the immersion. Makes you feel more like they're your travelling companions rather than just Yu-Gi-Oh cards that you summon when you want to fight people. Yeah, I like being able to talk to them and then them reacting to you, depending on their relationship as well. And look about, find hidden items and things for you. Thingy hidden items. Yeah, I think the animations is definitely the thing to get the game for if you're really into Pokemon. Some of the stuff just looks so great. Like, it's full 3D graphics, really beautiful. Definitely. So I guess the last thing is Final Verdict then. What would you give out um, of 10? I want to give it an 8 out of 10. It's, it's not, Solid quite, eight. not quite a perfect game. I think there's... Some stuff missing from, and I, I don't really agree with a few of the changes they've made. But for fa for fans of Pokemon, it will it will set your appetite for more Pokemon until Gen Eight comes out. So yeah, final verdict: not as good as the main series. Um, obviously, being diehard Pokemon fans, all all we want is another main series game. But as a spin-off, or in the meantime, it's damn good and a lot better than some of the other more random, like puzzle-based spin-offs and um, stuff like that. Do you think it's better than Mystery Dungeon series? Um, or much the same? Mystery Dungeon series has some cool stories, but again, once you finish the stories, it gets a bit brainy. There's not really a lot to do. There's, there's better or that. worse though? Do you think Let's Go is better or worse than Mystery Dungeon or much the same? Um, probably have to go with not quite as good as Mystery Dungeon. Mystery Dungeon at least has its own unique story and I feel like the Pokemon in it have a lot more personality since they're talking to you and stuff. So main series best, Mystery Dungeon second best and we're putting Let's Go just under Mystery Dungeon then? Yeah, not, not that, that not sounds good. about right. It is very good. Yeah, it sounds about right though. Solid eight out of ten, definite. Um, especially for either diehard Pokemon fans or people looking to get back into the franchise, really great start. Not quite the same as a new Pokemon game, uh, which we hope to get announced soon. Maybe do a video. We could do a video on what we want from Pokemon Generation Eight, but. Um, Thanks for watching this video anyway, and please leave a like and a comment if you can. Lots of love and take care.